Well, hi. Hope y'all are doing all right. I'm really happy to be watching this. So, <clears throat> today, I was thinking about what's the rapture? And why do people believe in it? Well, what happened was, is there is these uh, Jesuits, you know, back in the 14 and 1500s that uh, were trying to reconcile the Jewish brothers with the Christian uh, mythos and uh, they came up with the rapture and basically it's not in the Bible if I was to do a Bible search right now with the word rapture in the Bible it's not in there so why would you believe in something that's not in the Bible well because these things aren't working and these things aren't working and all you gotta do read it crack it open and read it you know read it for yourself you know like it's good to go to church and hear what somebody else has got to say about it therefore you have a reference you'd be like oh yeah he talked about that story or whatever but um it's basically it's not in there so the problem is is they're counting on people not getting in the bible not reading the word not knowing what words are in there or what words aren't so the, the best defense on something like this is to get in the Bible and to know it backwards and forwards so that you can't be deceived. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a, a link to a to an older video. It's an animated version of Revelation. So you can see when Jesus comes back because it's basically word for word what, what goes on in Revelation. So some people, you know, they, they avoid Revelation because it is scary or whatever and stuff. But it's only scary for the people that don't know the good Lord Jesus, you know. You you know him, and what do you have to be afraid of? He's good. He'll treat you good. He's the good shepherd. He knows how to love. He knows how to forgive, and he knows how to be merciful. He knows how to be forgiving, you know, like that's his character. He is a loving, caring honest man that keeps his word and uh, you know a lot of people they don't have exposure to that kind of guy but he's for real like he doesn't mess around if he says something he means it and so um, you know you go ahead and get in there and, and get to know him and uh, give your life to him you know dear Lord Jesus please help me please save me I know I'm incomplete without you please I'm struggling stuff like that okay so God bless you and your family. Have a great day.